Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to show you my summer lookbook. These are outfits that I'm going to be wearing this summer. This is a combination of some things that I showed you in a haul from a little while ago and then um, some other things that I picked up just the last couple of days uh, at some stores near me where they were having great sales, by the way. So anyway, to do the video, I'm going to scoot over here. I'm going to show you the full length outfits over here so you can see and um, hold up the clothes here and we'll get this rolling. I hope I'm not too shiny and I hope my hair is not a mess, but after running back and forth to the camera up and down stairs, trying on seven different different outfits and filming each of them, I'm a little disheveled, I gotta say. So anyway, here's the first outfit. Um, this top you have seen before as well as the shoes because I picked these up in my Nordstrom haul at the beginning of the summer, but I um, just wanted to show it to you in a whole outfit. So I've shown you this top before. This is a hinge top that I got at Nordstrom. Uh, it is orange front and it has these little tassel ties that I just love. The back is this uh, nice geometric pattern. It's loose and flowy, lightweight top. I put it together with a pair of white jeans. These are my white Joe's jeans. They are a flare. I'm happy to say that flares are back. And then at the bottom, I found these shoes that go perfectly with the top. And these are Tsubo sandals. They're just a really cute little leather upper, and this is like almost a um, linen-y kind of fabric here on the heel. It's a platform wedge, and those I think go great. All right, this is another look that I picked up in uh, that previous haul from the Memorial Day sales. This outfit is mainly from Zara, and I showed you this before, but here is the whole outfit with it all together. This is a black racer back mixed fabric top. It's got mesh in the front and then just a solid jersey in the back. Really cute, nice v-neck, very flattering. And I put that with these black and white striped shorts from Zara. These are so cute, so very nautical with the silver buttons. And to go with those, I wore, I showed you these before too. These are my Born Genesis uh, high-heeled wedge sandals. I love a high-heeled wedge with a short. And then for the necklace, I had on this um, gold crescent necklace from Target. This was like $9.99, great price point. And it's got this really cool mesh chain and a nice little crescent, and I think it goes with the nautical look. I was looking for shorts, and I came up empty-handed yesterday. I couldn't find a single pair of shorts that were um, the right length and the right fit. I was in H&M, and I saw that they had all these little um, elastic tubey skirts. And I tried these on and they fit great. So I just bought this yesterday. It still has the tags on it. These are $9.99 a piece. And I thought, my gosh, what a great substitute for shorts. I could just wear with these little skirts. They're very basic. You can put them on with anything and they look great. So I got three of them since they were 10 bucks a piece. I got a gray one. I got a black one that I'm wearing underneath this. And I got a black and white striped one. And so this outfit contains the gray skirt and then this white top that I picked up at Banana Republic yesterday. And this, actually, it kind of reminds me of that black top I just showed from, uh, from Zara because it, again, I guess I'm into the mesh. This has like a mesh, see-through mesh overlay. But underneath, it's got sort of a solid white fabric. This is also a racer back. It's really boxy and where it's got the two layers, one longer than the next, it hides anything that you need to hide going on in the middle if you have those issues. And it also has a nice little exposed zipper at the back. This was on sale from 80 bucks down to $48.99 and it was 60% off at the register. So this was quite the bargain. I wore that with my bobble bar a long chain necklace. All the information on all the clothes, at least the ones that I can find online, will be in the information box below the video with complete links for shopping and everything. And then for the shoes, these are some old ones. I thought it would just look so cute with some flats but with a little bit of metallic detail. These are some old Bach sandals that I've had for a couple years, as you can tell by how dirty they are, but I love the little metal detail on here. I don't know if these will still be available anywhere. This next outfit is a little fancier. It can be worn uh, to a summer wedding or just a fancy luncheon on the veranda at your favorite uh, oceanfront hotel. That's where I'm wearing mine, <laughs> in case you hadn't noticed by the detail on that one. Anyway, this is a really pretty dress that I picked up at um, Banana Republic yesterday. 
and I won't be able to fit it in the whole frame, so look over here to see it. But it is a long black and white, more with the stripes, black and white striped dress with lots of interesting panels and seaming. I love this big, long zipper. It's very bodycon. You're very um, covered, but it is so, um, how do you say, form-fitting that it is actually quite a hot little number. I know it needs like ladylike pointy-toed shoes, which I don't own. You know, I'm not big on ladylike stuff, so I did put it with my um, Ancient Guess uh, cork heels because that was like the lightest shoe that I own with the little t-strap and I think it looks fine that's probably what I would wear it with and I also am carrying my little beiju uh, convertible wristlet clutch so this next outfit is just a cute little dress that I picked up at H&M yesterday as I was leaving the store I like impulse purchased this I saw it on the end cap of a rack and I was like oh that's really cute I wonder if it will um, look good on me so I grabbed it and brought it home and I thought if it doesn't fit I'll take it back so anyway this was a whole $12.99 so I bought it isn't it cute I love it that it's got the high neck and the little straps and then it's a fit and flare and since I would wear that just for kick it around on casual days, I put it with my new Skechers uh, Memory Foam sandals. I got these about a week ago. Whoops, almost dropped it. They're nice and strappy and light, and you know about my plantar fasciitis. This actually, with between the wedge and the Memory Foam, this makes my feet feel very nice all day long. So I love wearing those. And, oh, I carried my new purse with it. You know, I don't really show a lot of pocketbooks because I'm not pocketbook obsessed. Um, but this is one of the more expensive things that I did buy this summer. This is a Cuba bag. And I saw this at Bloomingdale's back in the spring. And I couldn't believe that this tiny little purse would retail for $350, and yet it did. So I waited and waited and waited for it to go on sale, and it finally went on sale, and I got it, and I love it. So I paid just over 100 for this little guy. It is very, very petite. It just fits my wallet, my sunglasses, a couple of lipsticks, and that's about it. But I love this um, front pocket with the zippers. I can fit my phone right in there. I love the little carry handles and the optional crossbody strap. So that is my purse that I'm carrying this summer and loving. Another outfit, this is a casual chambray um, shirt dress. It's a high-low, so it's higher in the front and lower in the back. It is also a racer back. This was on sale, uh, $98 normally. I don't think I would pay 100 bucks for a chambray kicking around dress, but um, the sale price was 79 and then it was 60% off of that. The thing I love about it is that it has the pockets and it does have this self-tie belt, which I don't really dig. I really hate it tied in the front, so for the video I tied it in the back. I like it that it's racer back. I kind of wish it was just a shirt and not a whole dress, but I thought it would make a great um, cover up for going to the beach or something like that. I don't know. So I did get it because uh, I texted a picture of me in it to a friend of mine. She was like, oh, you look like a teenager. And those <laughs> are the magic words that when your friend says you look like a teenager in something, you have to have it, especially when it's such a great sale price. So I bought that. I like the preppy look on some people. I like the classic classic look on some people. I like the boho look on some people. And me, I like to kind of mix it all up and, you know, jumble them together and see what happens. So um, was that all the outfits? Yes. Then there's the one that I'm wearing. I really like this sweater the best. <laughs> so I love it that it's like holy because, you know, in New England, when it's hot here during the day, it's generally cool at night anyway. So you need a sweater all the time or to go into air conditioned places. This uh, brand is called Don't Ask Why, and it's a one-size-fits-all. And I just love the nice, relaxed feel of this sweater. And what do I have it on with? I have it on with the top that I also got at American Eagle. This was on the sale rack. This is just a really cute, like, baby doll type of top. I love this embroidered panel across the top. I love to wear it with my little boho beads, and I like it that it makes a boho look. Um, the skirt, I do not love with it, but in a pinch, I would wear the skirt with it. What I normally wear with it is either some really distressed boyfriend jeans or distressed boyfriend denim cutoff shorts with um, a little bit of fringe hanging out the bottom, but they have to be a little bit longer, a little bigger, a little looser, and I haven't been able to find the exact right pair of shorts to put with this top yet, but that's kind of what I'm looking for to make the outfit. Fit, but I think it looks cute with this black skirt and the shoes I've shown you these before as well I think I got these last year at Nordstrom off the sale rack at the end of the summer sale uh, these are Sam Edelman 
uh, cork platform wedges with a little bit of a like patent you know toe thong thing really cute really comfy really casual they go with all kinds of great things and there was one other thing that i wanted to show you and that was that of course with all these racerback outfits you need a racerback bra so i went into victoria's secret looking for a racerback bra and all their regular bras are now racerback convertible aha uh -huh, isn't that awesome so the bra that i was wearing with most of these outfits and that i'm loving this uh summer is this one from victoria's secret all the straps are convertible and they have these really easy on easy off plastic openers that you just undo the straps and then you can convert it from an x back to a regular back easy peasy just like that so i keep this one converted to a racer back at all times and this is my go-to racer back for the summer this works out perfect for me it's a nice fitting bra this model number <laughs> gives the girls the right amount of lift without too much padding this is body by victoria perfect shape bra that's the one all right everybody that is it for the lookbook for today i hope you enjoyed the outfits as much as i enjoyed wearing them for you and i hope you found some inspiration for things to wear this summer uh, i kind of wanted to get outside and film this out there today but it has been such a weird weather day it's been like alternatingly super bright hot sun and then it poured rain for about 10 minutes and the wind kicked up and blew my patio umbrellas all over the place so i had to go <laughs> out and put them up and then of course my neighbor is doing construction in his backyard and he had his backhoe out so it was really loud out there so um thanks for watching i really appreciate your time and that's it for today everybody i will see you next time take care Bye bye